I Toriel Intelligent Tutorials Microsoft Word 2007 Inserting a Blank Table This is a continuation of the Inserting a Manual Page Break tutorial. All right, let's get started. Step 1. Press the Control N keys to move the insertion point to the end of the document to the blank paragraph below the heading Sample Table. Step 2. Make sure the Insert tab is displayed and then in the Tables group, click the Table button. A table grid opens with a new menu at the bottom. Step 3. Position the pointer in the upper left cell of the grid, and then drag the pointer down and across the grid until you highlight two columns and five rows. The outline of a cell turns orange when it is highlighted. As you drag the pointer across the grid, Word indicates the size of the table, columns by rows. At the top of the grid, a live preview of the table structure appears in the document. Step 4. When the table size is 2 by 5, click the mouse button. An empty table, 2 columns by 5 rows, appears below the table caption with the insertion point in the upper left cell. The two columns are of equal width. Each cell contains an end of the cell mark, and each row contains an end of row mark, which are important for selecting parts of a table. Two new tabs appear on the ribbon. The label Table Tools identifies them as table contextual tabs. They are visible only when the table is selected or the insertion point is located inside the table. Step 5. Move the mouse pointer over the empty table. The table move handle appears in the table's upper left corner, and the table resize handle appears in the lower right corner. You don't need to use either of these handles now, but you should understand their function. To select the entire table quickly, you can click the table move handle. Then you can move the entire table by dragging the table move handle. To change the size of the entire table, you can drag the table resize handle. All right, that's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching, and we hope you'll watch another iTorial tutorial sometime soon.